last lockdown numerical analysis interpolation Newton's forward interpolation formula YouTube channel mass locker provide you easy mathematics techniques whatsapp number the email address my name is Saeed Ahmad Shah I'm professor in Krishna Asha Bismillah Rahmani Rahim topics interpolation equal length of interval finite difference table Newton's forward interpolation formula interpolation interpolation it is a technique which is used to calculate missing data means information inside the range information it is always in discrete means point form here we have a table here we have points equal length of interval equal length of interval is the difference between values of independent variable in the table is same then it is equal length of interval here we have a table we are writing points in the table we have independent variable x and dependent variable y the difference between the independent values is same because the difference between a plus h minus a is h a plus 2h minus a plus h means h a plus 3h minus a plus 2h h a plus 4h minus a plus 3h h a plus 5h minus a plus 4h means h this process continues till getting the a plus n h minus a plus n minus 1 h say h it is the equal length of interval problem equal length of interval solution in two steps finite difference table Newton's formulas finite difference table finite difference table we are writing values of the independent variable x in first column we are taking five points we are taking the values of f of x in second column we have five points five minus one it means four we will have to take the four differences delta one is the first difference f of a plus h minus f of a this is delta f of a f of a plus 2h minus f of a plus h this is delta f of a plus h delta f of a plus 3h minus f of a plus 2h this is delta f of a plus 2h f of a plus 4h minus f of a plus 3h means delta f of a plus 3h taking the second difference delta f of a plus h minus delta f of a means delta 2 f of a delta f of a plus 2 h minus delta f of a plus h means delta 2 f of a plus h delta f of a plus 3 h minus delta f of a plus 2 h means delta 2 f of a plus 2 h taking the third difference delta 2 f of a plus h minus delta 2 f of a delta 3 f of a delta 2 f of a plus 2 h minus delta 2 f of a plus h means delta 3 f of a plus h taking the four difference delta 3 f of a plus h minus delta 3 f of a it means delta 4 f of a so we are writing uh, values in finite difference table form data missing above the center of the table suppose that data which is lying in the ta two values of the table a a plus h so the value against a is f of a draw the forward diagonal applying the newton's forward interpolation formula derive newton's forward interpolation formula 
let a y is equal to f of x be such that x takes n plus 1 equal distance value say a a plus h a plus 2 h up to a plus n h and that the corresponding values be f of a f of a plus h f of a plus 2 h up to f of a plus n h <coughs> let p n of x be a polynomial in x of a degree n and is taking in form p n of x is equal to b naught plus b1 x minus a plus b2 x minus a x minus a minus h plus b3 x minus a x minus a minus h x minus a min minus 2 h this process continue till getting the values b n x minus a x minus a minus h x minus a minus 2 h dot 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 x minus a minus n minus 1 h this is saying say equation a put x is equal to a in a we get because this point lying on the uh, polynomial degree n must satisfy the equation so we are putting x is equal to a in a here we are putting p n of a this is equal to b naught b1 placing here a it means 0 so this term will be 0 Pl placing here a here this term will be 0 placing a here this term will be 0 so we can get the values p n of a is equal to b naught plus 0 plus 0 plus dot 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 plus 0 we are writing p n as a function f so p n of a can be written as f of a or this is equal to b naught put x is equal to a plus h in a because this point lying on the polynomial degree n must satisfy the equation when we are putting here a plus h b naught a plus h minus a a a cancel means b1 h placing a plus h is means 0 placing here 0 so only we have a term b naught b1 h plus 0 0 plus dot, dot 0 so we are writing p n of a plus h is f of a plus h or b naught we have a value of b naught here f of a so, so we so we are writing the value of b naught is equal to f of a or this is b1 h from which we can calculate the value of b1 shifting f of a on the left hand side so we can write b1 uh, f of a plus h minus f of a or cross this h so we can write the value of b1 is equal to f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h or this is called the first difference from the final difference table so we can write delta f of a divided by 1 here is no value it means a 1 is multiplied blank value so we can write a 1 factorial h as power 1 means similarly put x is equal to a plus 2 h in a we get p n of a plus 2 h is equal to b naught plus b 1 2 h plus b 2 2 h h plus 0 plus dot dot plus 0 so we can write p n of a plus 2 h is f of a plus 2 h or b naught means f of a or b 1 means delta f of a divided by h or this 2 h is just the same b 2 2 h h it means 2 h square plus dot 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 so we can calculate the value shifting these value or calculating the value of b2 expanding the delta f of a is in the form of f of a plus h minus f of a and then simplifying it so we have a value b2 is equal to f of a plus 2 h minus 2 times of f of a plus h plus f of a divided by 2 h square so we can write this is the second difference delta 2 f of a 2 factorial h square this process continue till getting the b n so this can be written as a delta n f of a n factorial h power n substituting these values in equation a we have when we are substituting these values in equation a p n of x is equal to f of a plus delta f of a divided by 1 factorial times h x minus a plus delta 2 f of a 2 factorial h square x minus a x minus a minus h plus delta 3 f of a divided by 3 factorial h cube x minus a x minus a minus h x minus a minus 2 h plus dot 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 delta n f of a n factorial h to power n x minus a x minus a minus h x minus a minus 2 h dot 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 x minus a minus n minus 1 h after simplifying we can take this value h uh, 
uh, here like the general matter of the x minus a so we can write x minus a divided by h delta f of a divided by 1 factorial h square break it h into h first h take it as a denominator of the value of uh, of all the x minus a or second here x minus a divided by h or minus h by h so we can write like this delta 2 f of a 2 factor h square which is the same so h square can be bracket similarly delta 3 f of a over 3 factor h cube means h into h into h one h is here second h is here third h is here uh, then simplified x minus a divided by h x minus a divided by h minus h by h x minus a divided by h minus 2 h by h h h cancel then we can write this value like this or delta 3 f of a 3 factorial h cube plus dot dot this process continue here breaking h n first h is here then second h divided by this value next or then simplified then we can write like this value so delta n f of a n factorial h power n put u is equal to x minus a by h putting here u putting here u putting here u u u u then uh, substituting u then we can get the value f of a plus u h is equal to f of a plus u delta f of a plus u u minus 1 divided by 2 factorial delta 2 f of a plus u u minus 1 u minus 2 divided by 3 factorial delta 3 f of a plus dot 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 plus u u minus 1 u minus 2 dot dot u minus n plus 1 divided by n factorial delta n f of a this is called the newton's uh, forward interpolation formula applying this formula on particular problem calculator 105.6 here we have independent variable x and y is equal to f of x taking the difference of, uh, between the values of the x let's see here 106 minus 105 107 minus 106 1 0 8 1 minus 107 109 minus 108 here the adjustment is same say 1 to h is equal to 1 it is an equal length of interval problem write the final difference table first we are writing the values of the independent variable x in first column then f of x in second column or taking the differences first difference taking the first differences Taking the second differences, means second minus first, second the difference, third minus second, then fourth minus third. Taking the third difference, second minus first, third minus second, or taking the difference, second minus first. The required value lying in between these two values, so draw the forward diagonal or substituting the values in Newton's forward interpolation formula. When we are placing these values in interpolation of formula, before placing we will have to need the value of u. Here a is equal to 105, h is equal to 1, x is equal to 105.6. Calculate the value of u, x is 105.6, required value a is 105 or h is the equal length of interval means 1 say 0 0.6 so we can place the value u is equal to 0 0.6 in the formula and delta f of a delta 2 f of a delta 3 f of a or we can substitute these values uh, from the table delta or delta f of a like the same value if we are writing the delta it means delta f of a if we are writing delta 2 it means delta 2 f of a if we are writing delta 3 it means delta 3 f of a now substituting these values in the formula after substituting we have a result like this one then simplify it uh, when we are substituting value of f of a here this was 2.0211 comes from the final difference table u is 0 0.6 delta f of a delta f of a comes from the forward diagonal of the final difference table 0 0.6 0 0.6 minus 1 2 factorial or delta 2 f of a comes from the final difference table 0 0.6 0 0.6 minus 1 0 0.6 minus 2 divided by 3 factorial delta 3 f of a comes from the final difference table 0 0.6 0 0.6 minus 1 0 0.6 minus 2 0 0.6 minus 3 divided by 4 factorial substituting delta 4 f of a comes from the final difference table after simplifying we have a result f of 105.6 
is equal to 2.0236 this is called the required value which is lying in the table we can check it here the required value which is lying in between these two values 2.0211 2.0253 this value is less than 2.0253 then this is correct this is called the answer and all the lecture